Akash Adhikari is one of the most dynamic, creative, and revolutionary faces of the Nepali cinema industry. His exploits extend to major disciplines of the movie world, like acting, direction, production, writing, and post-production. He has not only mentored a generation of actors and directors, but has also played a key role in the modernization and digitization of the cinema in Nepal. Born in the Nawal Parasi district of Nepal, Mr. Adhikari studied sociology and filmmaking before entering the then dysfunctional and underperforming Nepali cine arena. As soon as he completed his movie studies from Mumbai, India, the soon-to-be star of the Nepali cine industry debuted with his movie Ranabumi in 1996. He was not only the director in his first venture, but also the chief story writer. The family action drama ushered him into sudden stardom as he won the Best Director Award for the movie. The story that started with Rana Bumi has now gone from strength to strength as the flamboyant Adhikari just directed his 14th successful film, Kema Timro Hoinara. His love for story writing is still the same, and the stories that he pens have received wide praise from critics in the media for their originality. The director, who has never hesitated in experimentation, has given the industry a number of hits in his 20-year career. Dog, 1999. Panji, 2001. Krod, 2005. Korka Protector, 2007. Kathmandu, 2011. Kohinoor, 2014. And Kema Timro Hoinara, 2016, are among his standout projects. The Nepali cine industry was on the verge of collapse at the time Mr. Atikari entered into the business, and the Film Development Board was even on the verge of issuing an emergency status. However, with the influx of new technologies and talent, the industry started making slight progress in the latter years of the last millennium, and today it is a vibrant industry despite its relatively small market. Mr. Adhikari was a key person in the revival of the Nepali film industry. While he was mostly involved as director-writer in his early projects, he suddenly awed everyone in the cine industry with his acting skills in the movie Panchi. Not only did the self-directed venture earn him many accolades from the cine fraternity, but the movie was also a commercial and a musical success. The songs, penned by Mr. Adhikari and with music from the established musician Ranjit Gajmir, were instant chart busters and remained at the top of the charts long after the movie's release. Krod was another instant hit from the tireless director. The movie where Mr. Adhikari was responsible for production, direction, and acting recorded 51 and 71 straight days of screening in many theaters of the capital city and beyond. <laughs> Jumping the ship of mainstream stories, he directed Gorka Protector in 2007. The film, based upon nationalistic sentiments and martial arts, 
went on to receive action awards in Hollywood. The award cemented Mr. Adhikari's status as one of the few Nepali movie makers with international recognition and acceptance. 2011 was a landmark year for the director as he produced, directed, and acted in one of the most loved and appreciated projects of his career, the movie Kathmandu. Bannus, my father is dead. I'm a bastard. Sibling! With a core theme addressing the generation gap and drug abuse, this movie not only achieved commercial success, but was highly praised by film critics, receiving the Best Story Critics Award. The movie also received Best Director, Best Story, and Best Film Awards, along with half a dozen other awards in various award shows. The film, shot in the United States and Nepal, also featured renowned Bollywood singer Sukhvinder Singh, who performed the Academy Award-winning song Jaya Ho. In Kathmandu, he sang two songs and was also featured in one of those. If anyone had seen his previous years of success and measured Mr. Adhikari's coming years on that basis, then their estimation would have been way off, as proved by the year 2014. The movie Kohinoor, released in 2014, broke all records by a margin never experienced before and propelled Mr. Adhikari to super stardom. The movie was an historic success, as it raked in more than 100 million rupees in an industry where 20 million would be enough to break all previous records. Apart from his multi-dimensional movie roles, Mr. Adhikari is a pioneer in bringing newer technologies to the Nepali cine world. He not only introduced the American-made RED digital camera to Nepal in 2008, but also established the infrastructure necessary for its operation. The hub is today known as Kindle Cine Studios RED. The movie Kathmandu was the first Nepali movie to be shot on the RED digital camera. Mr. Adhikari is a prominent figure behind the complete digitization of the Nepali movie industry. The studio, which specializes in movie equipment rental and post-production facilities, is one of the most sought-after high-end studios of the country. The fact that he is the most successful modern filmmaker of Nepal has not sidelined Mr. Adhikari's humanitarian urges, and he is heavily involved in the social sector. An active social worker, Mr. Adhikari is the president of a non-profit NGO, Flame of Hope Nepal. Mr. Adhikari has constructed three schools in the earthquake-ravaged districts of Nepal after the recent earthquakes, while other schools are currently being constructed under his guardianship. He was routinely involved in supplying tents, food, medicines, and clothes to many quake-hit zones of Nepal. In 2007, Mr. Adhikari was made the Youth Ambassador of Peace, by the Youth Federation for World Peace. He is a lifelong member of the Nepal Ambulance Service. He is also an international coordinator and consultant of Martyrs Memorial Community Hospital. Mr. Adhikari has been on the jury panel of many events, such as the Nepal Army Short Documentary Festival, Miss College, Miss SLC, Miss Air Hostess, and other similar events and movie festivals. Going back to movie making, Mr. Adhikari is currently busy with his dream project, The Sunrise, Sonam and Her Husbands.
This movie will bring to light the polyandry practice which is prevalent in the Himalayan region. Mr. Adhikari, who recently filmed the demo show in Kogbini and the stretches of Upper Mustang, has already registered the script with the Writers Guild of America West, Incorporated, and the United States Copyright Office Form PA, New York.